I'm healthy. I'm 100%. I know you better than that. I'm healthy. As long as we're in March now, man. As long as we, as long as I'm, you know, in between the lines and I'm playing, I'm healthy. I mean, is it is it a fine line trying to rest the groin, but also being sharp and being, you know, loose in the game? Yeah. Come on. It, it just. What up, boy? I see it. Honestly, I see it. I just when I step on the court, uh, you know, John. I, we have this tremendous trainer. We have John, so he gets me ready. He gets me loose. Um, and when I get on the court, I'm good. I'm warm. You know, and uh, got the win, man. That's how it that is. <laughs> Let's talk about the first half and the second half. What do you think the big difference was between those two periods? I mean, first half, you guys came out on fire. Yeah. Second half was chippy. Well, we knew they were going to get their one in the second half. I mean, we were just dominating. You know, we, were going out. we knew the game plan coming into the game. Um, we knew that, you know, we get the ball inside because they were very, you know, they, were, they were small. So get the ball inside, let Z, Juan, and uh, Melo do their job. And, you know, that was, that was the game plan. In the second half, they started putting a little pressure on us and they started making their run. But as long as we uh, came out with the victory, and we, uh, we uh, I had a lot of turnovers. I'm not going to lie. I had too many turnovers today, but um, that's not going to work next game. So we just got to keep it going and, uh, you know, Stick to the game plan, whatever the game plan is. How much of the turnovers was you maybe not being, even though you won't tell us you're not 100%, and maybe their defensive guy on you? Yeah, um, their pressure was pretty good. They're, they're, they're very fast, obviously, because they were quick, they were small. So, um, you know, some of it was that. You know, and other parts that I wish I was able to, you know, go ahead and break the press, like I usually do, and get around, use my speed. So. Um, but they're a great team. They, they play very hard. They're, they're very uh, skilled. Do you play? Is it hard to go out there and not be tentative? Like you can't kind of play cautious because that probably isn't the best thing to do. No, no. Just go out there and play and, and try to put my team in the, the winning positions. Um, so you don't think about it much while you're out there? No, no. No, when I'm in between the lines, you got to play. And uh, my focus is I have, I have bigger things to think about. You know, I have, you know how to get my, my guys involved, how to... You know, help them out today. I didn't do a great job of that, but as long as we got the win. It seems like we're talking about resiliency all season long. You guys are now nine and one after a loss. Yeah. I, I mean, is it? Is I mean, really, that loss to Oregon? I mean, as as hurtful as it was, really didn't affect anything. But no, no, because we know the guys. We know the guys that we have. You know, we we know what we have. Um, we know um, our coaches staff. Everybody believes in each other. You know, and this locker room is, is sacred, man. Everybody, everybody loves each other, and. Uh, yeah, even though I think we should have still got that Oregon win, we, we felt we felt like we still won. You know, we felt like you know we played our hearts out. Um, we just got to make certain plays and fix certain things up, but uh, we, still, we still felt good. Who else here today watching you? How much of your family is here? Nobody, but I know they're all no, watching. No, you couldn't I, make it. No, because uh, you know they wanted us to get this win so they can see us in Tulsa. Are they going to come? I'm pretty sure they will. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This is an experience of a lifetime. I'm lucky to do it twice. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I know they're watching me back home for sure. Everybody's, you know, at the house just watching me. Do you think you guys kind of got the monkey on your back from winning a playoff game now because it's been a while for ASU to win a playoff game? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we just got to keep it going. I think we're, I think we're good. We're fine. Uh, you know, definitely, definitely helps us get the feel of the gym and feel of the, the, the atmosphere. I know. Uh, when we play, it's gonna be a bigger atmosphere. Bigger people, but, uh, you know, we're ready. We're ready, man. We, you can think of it as a positive. Hey, you got the advantage. You had both ankles earlier in the year, right? Yeah. Wasn't it both Jesus, of them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want to say you weren't healthy for the first six weeks, would you say? I don't know. I don't know. It's one big blur? Yeah, at this moment, man, it's just win in advance. Um, all that stuff is in the past. Uh, we had a tremendous uh, regular season. Um, and now that, top, that chapter is, is closed, and now we're moving on to the last chapter. You're talking about atmosphere. I mean, coming here second year in a row, do you, did it feel maybe a little no. comfortable? No, it was it was definitely, just, you know, I'm, we're pretty much used to it now. Mm -hmm. you know, the arenas and all the stuff that we played in, I mean, it's pretty much like, you know, a little jitters, but it's just like, hey, we've been here before. Um, you start to rely on the you know, past. What were some of the things that enabled you guys to get that big lead early? The bigs, <laughs> bigs is man. We got them. We got them early, man. We those guys. This guy Lou, goddamn, killed, killed. Uh, but we were, we were, we knew the game plan. We knew the game plan. Uh, we got, we got down to the post, and they did their job. And you know, um, we got, we kind of got away from it from the second in the second half, but uh, came out with the win. But I'm just happy. <laughs> <laughs> Your zone was seemed like. And disruptive to them at times. Yeah, early. yeah, because they're you know they're 
Their one guy is, uh, you know, Pond, very good uh, man to man. So, um, you know, he's the head of the snake. We uh, zoned him. You know, he hit some good shots. He's still a player, but uh, definitely slow. Yeah. Did, go ahead. Did, did you feel this team was almost like you guys last year? I mean, kind of live and die by the perimeter, or live and die by the three shot, and not really a lot of balanced game. You said kind of similar. Yeah, like St. John's. Yeah. Uh, Last year. Yeah, them? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're actually pretty similar. I think that our guards uh, uh, were a little bit more skilled. Mm -hmm. um, senior guards experience, uh, know how to use their body and stuff, especially Cody and uh, Trey. But uh, Shannon, Shannon was a sharp shooter, man. He hit shots. So. Yeah, they, they were definitely similar. Uh, I think we had a little bit more size. And I think that obviously, Melo making an improvement. Um, but uh, he was still able, we were still able to go down low to him. So um, I think we're kind of a better version now. <laughs> Do you feel like now, like just with even more time, you'll, you'll continue to feel better? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm 100%. As long as I'm on that court, I'm 100%. So I'm good. Thank you, guys.